Okay, I asked you to do from numbers four to number eight on this sheet, okay? So number four, a feather is dropped on the moon, so it's dropped. That means VI is zero. On the moon means its gravity is not 9.81. From a height of 1.4 meters, so delta D, 1.4 meters, and it's dropped, so it's going down. The acceleration of gravity on the moon is 1.67, so A is 1.67 meters per second squared down. Okay, so it's not as big as the Earth, therefore gravity isn't as big. Determine the time. So what equation do you know that has a VI, a delta D, an A, and a delta T in it? Hopefully you are saying delta D is equal to VI delta T plus one half A delta T squared. The VI is zero, so this goes to zero. You want to solve for the time, so multiply both sides by two to get rid of the uh, one half, and then divide both sides by A. So we have T squared is equal to two delta D over A. So two times 1.4 meters, and we can just call down positive because everything's going down. 1.67 meters per second squared. And when you do this, you uh, then have to take the square root. And when you take the square root, you should get 1.295 seconds for number four. Number five says, a basketball is popped straight up into the air and has a hang time of 6.25 seconds. A hang time means the time it takes to go up, stop, and come back down. So it's the total time. So delta T total is equal to 6.25 seconds, which means the time it takes to go up should be half of that, should be 3.125 seconds. Okay? We don't know what the VI is. Actually, I didn't finish reading the question, I'm guessing. Determine the height to which the ball rises. So we don't know what the VI is, but we know it's going to go up until it stops. So on the way up, the VF is going to be zero. We know A is going to be 9.81 meters per second squared down. And so the question wants to know, um, determine the height to which the ball rises before it reaches its peak or when it reaches its peak. Okay, well, you have a couple of options. First option would be to find VI because you have VF and delta T and A. So looking at the up, you can do A is equal to VF minus VI over delta T. So A delta T is equal to VF minus VI. I'd bring the VI over and the A delta T over. So VI is equal to VF minus A delta T. And if we're looking for the t at the time up, these are TUs and this is zero. So VI is equal to negative, subtract that is, and then minus 9.81, because it has to go in as a negative because it's going down. And the time up is 3.125 seconds. And when you do this, you get a VI of, of course I didn't do it that way, um, 9.81 times 3.125, you get a VI of 30.65625 meters per second works out to be positive because that means it's going up. Uh, that means it's going up. So that's not what the question asks, though. The question asks for delta D. So delta D is equal to VI delta T, one-half A delta T squared. And now we have our VI. So delta D is equal to... 30.656, I'm just going to write that much down, but I'll keep it all on my calculator, I promise, times 3.125 seconds plus one-half negative 9.81 meters per second squared times that 30.656 meter, uh, no, that doesn't go there, times 3.25 one, two, five seconds squared. Okay, delta D equals, so s times three, three 3.125. First term, you should get 95.8 meters. 
and then it's going to be minus brackets 0.5 times 9.81 times 3.125 squared minus 47.9 and when you subtract them you get 47.9 meters okay that is number five number six while driving from Fredericton to Moncton one morning your physics teacher gets stuck behind a slow driver going 27 meters per second so I'm pretty sure that's your VI 27 meters per second on the major bull road finally getting a passing lane the physics teacher heats the gas and speeds up with an acceleration of 1.864 meters per second squared what is your teacher's speed looking for your VF after accelerating 190.90 meters so VI A Delta D looking for VF VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2 A Delta D VF squared equals 27 meters per second squared plus 2 times 1.864 meters per second squared times 190.9 meters remember that the answer you get there is going to be VF squared and I think it's like 1440.6752 I actually wrote that one down this time take the square root and you should get a VF of 37.96 meters per second your physics teacher is speeding 30 is 108 so 37 almost 38 is definitely speeding number seven you watch as your friend passes a slower vehicle on the highway your friend is going 134 kilometers per hour by the end of the passing lane and then he spots a police car so 134 kilometers per hour and I'm thinking that's going to be his initial because when he spots the police car and hits the brakes he slows to so your VF is a hundred kilometers per hour in 0.5 of a second amazing what a police car can do for you how far did he travel in this time you're looking for Delta D okay first step you got to change this to these two to meters per second so a thousand meters over a kilometer times one hour over 3600 seconds and the same for this one on your last test you did a lousy job some of you just drop the units and pretend it like they all matched you can't do that so 134 is 37.2 repeating meters per second and it was 100 right not 110 is 27.7 repeating meters per second all right your first step you can find your acceleration a is equal to vf minus vi over delta t so a is equal to 27.7 repeating minus 37.7 repeating divided by 0.5 of a second and when you do this you should get an a of negative 18.8 repeating meters per second squared once you have that then you can do Delta D is equal to VI Delta T 1 half a Delta T squared so Delta D is equal to 37.7 repeating meters per second times 0.5 of a second plus 1 half negative 18.8 repeating meters per second squared 0.5 seconds squared and you should get a delta D of uh, what is that too bad I can't see 16.25 meters in the end 16.25 meters I think it ends up being 18.61 meters minus 2.361 and the ones are repeating okay number eight we're probably going to run out of time says you decide to pass a car in the Trans Canada by the time you pass the car you're traveling 126 kilometers per hour again you need to change this um, you then spot a police cru cruiser hit the brakes slow down to a hundred this sounds familiar hundred kilometers per hour 